Good afternoon and welcome to Tobacco TV by GQTobaccos.com and in today's episode we're going to be talking about pipe tools. This covers everything from tampers to reamers to scrapers, picks and knives. We'll go through it all in this video here today. So when it comes to pipe tools we've got several options. We have multi-purpose tools and we have single purpose tools. But to the new pipe smoker, there's an array and a myriad of different style of pipe tools out there. And it's basically where do you start? So for the first part of this video, we're going to mainly be talking about single use, single use pipe tools. So when it comes to pipe tools, one of the most popular tools that a pipe smoker needs is a tamper. Now when you're preloading the pipe, it's quite easy to use your thumb to compact the tobacco down inside the bowl as you're packing. Once you've lit the pipe, a little bit more difficult because that's burning hot and uh, you tend to burn your finger a little bit when you're going inside. So there's various options of basically just tampers which you can use. You can get them on uh, multi-pipe tools or on their own. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of some beautiful single um, individual tampers. So as we were saying you have a range of single-use tampers. Now these start from rather simplistic sort of devices. Uh, this is a Chris Asquith tamper. Um, it's made from a variation of a Cumberland rod. Um, this has actually been made to be dual purpose. A little bit there is for picking, basically for picking bits of ash out of the pipe when you've finished. And then obviously this side is used to compact the tobacco down into the pipe as you're smoking. So as I say, that's the Chris Asquith, uh, Chris Asquith Jade Cumberland tamper. Um, we then have some others. Uh, this is made by Rob McFarlane. Now, Rob McFarlane is a is a model maker. Uh, works as some will say some of the world's biggest names in uh, model figures. And uh, this was actually this series was derived uh, from a request that the Nottingham Pipe Club put in to get some Robin Hood ones. Uh, these were made as a very small batch. They've pretty much all gone now. Uh, there's no Robin Hood tampers left, I'm afraid. Uh, but as I say, this is William Shakespeare, um, as well as Shakespeare. There's Nelson and a beautiful size at the bottom, around 15 mil is ideal as a tamper. Um, most pipes tend to be 17 mil, some tend to be thicker, but anything less than 17 mil makes a great tamper. But as I say, these are beautiful, beautiful tampers. Now, another range of elegant tampers is the, uh, the Rat Ray series. These are the Kaber tampers. These are long and slender, um, absolutely beautiful. Got a nice um, concave uh, tamper at the bottom. Um, and as well as that, it also unscrews on the head. Again, this is sort of multi-purpose, but it's predominantly a tamper, and it comes with a small pick. Again, used for getting the dot all out of your pipe. Now, one of the other tools that a pipe smoker uses quite a bit is a reamer or a scraper. Uh, this is basically for getting any excessive carbon out of the inside of the bowl. Uh, they come in a, a number of different styles. Uh, one of the most popular is the Butner reamer, but we'll show you a little bit more of that right now. So, as we were saying, um, one of the other main tools which you need is a, um, is a reamer or a means of scraping out the pipe. Now, this is uh, quite an old design. It's the uh, famous English Butner reamer, which is uh, no longer produced. This is, in essence, it's a copy, um, but it's self-adjusting. So depending on the size of the pipe, size of the chamber you're working on, you can adjust it to fit the size of pretty much any chamber, really. Um, from quite wide all the way down to quite slender. Uh, these are pretty good. Um, they don't really have a sharp blade, but they have a reasonably, reasonably rough edge. Um, so all you need to do is obviously just get the reamer roughly to the right size. And in we go. And then all you do is you just turn around and twist. And this will gently cut off a nice even layer of carbon. Won't cause much damage to the bottom thanks to this rounded base. As I say, these are one of the most, one of the most effective and most reliable um, pipe reamers there is. Now, as well as just the standard Butner style reamer and using a scraper on a multi-tool, there's um, some slightly more hardcore tools which um, people who smoke the same pipe a lot, um, the carbon cake gets really built up, and those of us who buy estate second-hand pipes off the internet to refurbish them, and there are a few tools which are perfect for cleaning out really caked-up pipes. 
Now there are occasions when you have to remove a lot of carbon outside of the pipe. Now this the cake builds up over time and uh, if you don't keep on top of it, before you know it you can get very little tobacco inside the bowl. Um, a lot of people buy estate pipes off the internet and um, they're very heavily caked up and they want to be stripped back to the base briar by the smoker before they use them again. So you've got a couple of options, the most popular of which, um, probably the coolest of which, is the Senior Rima. Um, you have to excuse me, this is my personal one. Um, now what this is, is this is also an adjustable, adjustable Rima, but you twist the screw thread and you can widen, you can widen out the teeth by taking the, the piston at the end out or by pulling it in and you get a much tighter, a much tighter fit. Um, so you adjust it for the size that you're working on based on your pipe. Uh, not only that, it also has a handy, a handy bit inside here, which if I just quickly show you, uh, if you ever get a serious blockage inside here, this is pretty much done at a standard sized and you can take it all the way through. Um, and this basically just cleans out any blockages you have inside the shank. Um, but as I say, to actually remount a pipe, you have to keep adjusting it. Obviously, the more carbon you've got, um, the closer together you have to get the teeth to start off with. So all you need to do is just make sure it goes in. Once you feel a little bit of resistance, take it back a little bit and just turn once you're inside. You can tighten it up to get a much tighter cut and you just keep going and going. And the sharp blades on the outside, uh, these blades just here, they cut away at the cake. And before you know it, you've pretty much scraped the pipe all the way back to how it was. You know, this pipe wasn't heavily caked up. I'm pretty good at keeping on top of it. So, as well as the trusty Senior Rima, now there is another option, um, which used to be a lot more popular. But because this Hedgehog Rima has been off the market for 10 years, a lot of people have probably never seen them before. Um, some pipe makers and retailers were quite happy to see, happy to see these go. Um, but a lot of people still request them. I personally don't use one. I use a Senior Reamer instead. Um, but these are about 10 times as cheap as a Senior Reamer. Um, what this is, as you can probably see, it has some very sharp serrated edges on it. Now, what, all you do is you put it inside your pipe and you twist it round. Um, as you can see in here, the cake isn't quite so bad. Uh, you aren't going to damage any of the briar, but if the cake pipe is heavily caked up, you can start working your way in. Um, the problem with these, and I say why a lot of pipe makers, repairmen and retailers were happy to see them go, is they are very, very sharp. And if you're not careful with how you're using it and you end up cutting off to one side, these teeth will cut deep scratches onto the inside of the bowl and they can produce weak points. But with that being said, the Senior Rima is a lot more effective at removing the cake out of a pipe. Now, I still would prefer the Senior Rima. It's a lot more durable. You can adjust the cutting size based on the pipe that you're using. And with the addition of, as I say, with the bit to clear out the air hole uh, inside the shank, the Senior Rima is an absolute must for anybody who restores pipes, um, especially estate pipes. And as, um, as somebody commented the other day online, every pipe becomes an estate pipe and everybody should own one of these. And uh, any of you are a fan of Doctor Who, it's almost like a sonic screwdriver. Now, as well as the pipe tools that only serve one purpose, there is a range out there that cover all of them. Basically, three-in-one multi-tools, uh, pipe knives, things like that. And uh, we'll just show you a couple of those now. Now, as we said, you also get multi-pipe tools. Um, you have smokers companions, multi-tools, and we also have smokers knives. Um, these differ very slightly. Um, the main difference is most smokers companions don't contain a knife. Uh, they come with a scoop, and as the name implies, uh, most pipe knives actually come with a knife. So uh, first up, we're gonna talk about the pipe companions, uh, three-in-ones, and the most popular of which most of you will probably recognize is this is the three-in-one check tool. Um, one of the cheapest pipe tools out there, and like I say, it's one of the most commonly used. It does everything you need, and um, they're pretty well made. Uh, you've got a tamper here, which uh, as we mentioned earlier, this is for obviously compacting the tobacco down, compacting the tobacco down into the chamber of your pipe when it's burning. 
Um, it comes with a pick. This is great for if you can't quite get at all the little bits of dotter and things in the bottom. And also it will unblock the shank on most pipes. This obviously being a, uh, being a Canadian, um, that's quite a large shank. And ultimately you also have a pick and this is what you use for scraping out the bits of dotter at the bottom. So as I say, the, um, the three-in-one pipe companion, otherwise known as the check tool there, and as well as that, we have this, which is a small key ring based three in one pipe companion. Has exactly the same tools on it. And debatably, you could actually use this part of the handle as a scraper as well. So in essence, it's a four in one, um, but we just class it as a three in one to be simple. Both these tools, very, very cheap, cost less than two, three pounds each, and are the most common pipe tools there is. So when it comes down to um, pipe knives in the UK, there's one, one manufacturer and one pipe knife that almost all tobacconists carry and uh, most pipe smokers actually own and use. This is the Rogers pipe knife. These are extremely well made, made in Sheffield in England um, by a cutlery maker which has run several royal warrants. It's a solid, well made steel knife. Um, the beauty of these is they have a rounded tip so you're never going to score the bottom of the pipe when you're scraping it out. Uh, not only are they good for cutting out the carbon, you can cut flake, sorry, you can cut plug with it, you can cut twist tobacco with it. Um, and as well as that, they have a very large pick. Again, ideal for getting the tobacco out of the chamber and also for unblocking any blockages you get in the flue hole. And then obviously they also come, they also come with a small tamper on the top. These knives last years and um, they just keep on going. Uh, the, tobacconist I used to work at we had a selection in the drawer that were 30 40 years old and they still work just as well as a new one does still made by the same company still made up in Sheffield and a very good solid knife as well as those you get slightly more novelty slightly more novelty pipe knives this one's shaped like a pipe nice wooden handle in the middle and much like the Rogers knife has the same features you have a tamper on the base a reasonable sized pick on the side and hidden away in here you have a knife nowhere near as sharp now this is more for scraping rather than cutting and again rounded so it doesn't damage the end of the pipe they're brilliant little pipe tools and um, out of them all this is the most durable uh, they do cost more than things like the check tools but for durability and, and functionality the rogers pipe knife is a must that everybody should have so that basically covers it. So as I say, all these pipe tools all serve multi-purpose um, and most pipe smokers don't get away without having them. There's nothing more frustrating than having a smoker and realizing you don't have your tamper with you. If you're out and about in the sticks, you end up trying to find a branch that's the right size to use, or you just suck it in seat, you lick your thumb and cram it in. But then when you come to the end, you've got all the dottle in the end of your pipe, it's not that easy to get out and the worst thing you can do in the world is stop banging your pipe against a bin. You can tap gently with the palm of your hand, that's fine, but when you're doing that make sure you never hold on to the mouthpiece, you always hold on to the shank because you don't want to create too much movement too much movement in this area there. So thank you ever so much for watching. Um, all the pipe tools, scrapers, tampers, reamers, everything featured within this video are available on our website. Find a link to it in the bucket down below or if you just head to www.gqtobaccos.com. Uh, it's down there under accessories, um, tampers and reamers. So as I say, thank you ever so much for watching everybody. We'll be back with another video very soon. So take care. Goodbye.